assalamu alaikum students welcome to physiologics youtube channel in this lecture we will be covering the quiz from lecture 2 of posture that was uploaded a few days back on our youtube channel so let's start with the first mcq the posture is said to be good when it fulfills the purpose for which it is used with minimum efficiency and minimum effort B. It fulfills the purpose for which it is not used with maximum efficiency and minimum effort. Option C. It fulfills the purpose for which it is used with maximum efficiency and minimum effort. And option D. It fulfills the purpose for which it is used with minimum efficiency and maximum effort. And the correct option is Option C. It fulfills the purpose for which it is used with maximum efficiency and minimum effort. So when we'll talk about the bad posture, the definition will be reversed that it will not fulfill the purpose or it will fulfill the purpose but with minimum efficiency and maximum or extra effort. Next MCQ, the dynamic postures are dash to assess as compared to the static postures. Option A, easier. Option B, difficult. Option C, same as static posture and option D, none of these. And the correct option is option B, difficult. The di dynamic postures are difficult to assess when compared to static postures as there is continuous movement of different body parts. So that's why it are, they are difficult to assess. Next MCQ. In the erect posture, the plane of alignment is option A, horizontal, option B, vertical, option C, parallel, and option D, all of these. And the correct option is option b vertical that the plane of alignment in the erect posture is always vertical next mcq when the effect of gravity on the body segments is increased the muscle work required to maintain the alignment is option a decrease option b increase option c no effect on the muscle and option d none of these and the correct option is option b increase that when the effect of gravity on the body segments increase, so obviously the muscles that are counteracting the effect of gravity, they will have to work harder to maintain the body alignment. So that's why their work will be increased. Next MCQ, which of the following is not a responsible factor in the development of good posture? Option A, stable psychological background. Option B, poor hygienic conditions. Option C, mental attitude and option d opportunity for plenty of natural movement and the correct option is option b that the poor hygienic condition is not a responsible factor in the development of good posture it can be a responsible factor in the development of bad or poor posture but obviously it is not a factor that will lead to development of a good posture Next MCQ, the joy, happiness and confidence are stimulating to the nervous system and are reflected by an alert posture in which the positions of dash predominate. Option A, flexion. Option B, extension. Option C, both of these and option D, none of these. And the correct option is option B, extension. The movement of extension brought about the anti-gravity muscles predominates when nervous system is stimulated by feelings like joy happiness and confidence similar mcq the unhappiness conflict and feelings of inferiority affect the nervous system and are reflected by a posture in which positions of dash predominate option a flexion option b extension option c both of these and option d none of these and the correct answer is option b Flexion that when we are unhappy, we have a feeling of conflict or the feeling of inferiority, the flexion movement of our body predominates. Next MCQ the posture is said to be poor when it does not fulfill the purpose for which it is used for the minimum efficiency and maximum effort, it does not fulfill the purpose for which it is used, not used with maximum efficiency and minimum effort, it does not fulfill the purpose for which it is used with maximum efficiency and minimum effort. And option D, it fulfills a purpose for which it is used with minimum efficiency and maximum effort. And the correct option is option A, that it does not fulfill the purpose for which it is used with minimum efficiency and maximum effort. So these 
three conditions make up the bad posture or poor posture but if even if there is one or two condition present the posture is will still be called as bad that even if it is fulfilling the purpose but with max, minimum efficiency and maximum effort means extra effort the posture will again be poor the posture is only good when it fulfills the purpose with min, with maximum efficiency and minimum muscular effort next mcq which of the following is not true for poor posture option a they necessitate the use of extra muscle work option b they are aesthetically pleasing option c they have unwelcome psychological reaction and option d none of these and the correct option is option b they are aesthetically pleasing all of the uh, uh, other options uh, option a and option c are true for the poor posture that the poor posture causes the use of extra muscle work uh, they are and they have unwelcome psychological reaction but they are not aesthetically pleasing they are aesthetically displeasing next mcq the tension in muscles other than those required to act either to produce movement or to maintain posture dash the efficiency of posture option a increases option b decreases option c no effect and option d none of these and the correct option is option b decreases when there is tension in the muscles other than those that are required to act like if we are uh, maintaining a static posture and that requires certain muscles to act to produce uh, that to maintain that balance and if there are some extra muscle involved so basically the compensatory muscle work is required as the posture is poor maybe so that will decreases the efficiency of a posture that will increase the demand of muscle work but obviously that will decrease the efficiency of posture next mcq which of the following is not a contributory factor in the development of poor posture option a mental attitude option b constitutional illness option c good hygienic conditions option d prolonged fatigue and the correct option is option c good hygienic conditions as we discussed before that the good hygienic condition can be a factor in the development of good posture but not a contributory factor in the development of poor or bad posture other conditions other factors that are mental attitude illness or prolonged fatigue can be contributory factors in the development of poor posture but the good hygienic condition is a contributory factor in the development of good posture so these were the MCQs from lecture 2 of posture. Next, in next video, we'll be covering the MCQs related to lecture 3 of posture. If you haven't watched the lecture yet, you can go to our channel and watch lecture 3. That is final lecture of chapter posture. And if you have any questions or suggestions for us, feel free to let us know in the comment section. Inshallah, we'll meet in the next video. Till then, take care.